Hi, I'm Jeremy Meyer. I'm a technology and engineering instructor here at Preble High School. Uh, the class we were looking at was engineering design development. It is a course where the students are broken up into teams and they build a replica race car for various companies. Um, they're fully sponsored. They have to create the drawings in the computer in 3D. We have to actually build it from that, build the bodies, design how they're going to connect the engines or connect the tires or put in the exhaust or put the body on. They have to build it. It's not just a computer drawing. They have to actually build a product to a high quality and uh, get it finished on a deadline. Uh, the race, we actually raced down at the Briggs & Stratton Motorplex down at Road America in Elkhart Lake, Wisconsin. So the students will actually take this car and run it on the track to see how fast they can go around the track at one at a time. We don't put them all on there at once, so we do it one at a time. But uh, the students get to actually drive something that they created from scratch. A lot of my students are, uh, as you make as a career, a lot of, about 90% of them are going on to two and four year schools. Um, some former students, right now we have a student that graduated two years ago. He is actually working for GM as an internship for his uh, college. And uh, right now he is working in the engine dyno room. And yeah, yeah blowing up some engines, testing some parts, and uh, having a great time. But it, yeah, it does go on to quite a pretty good career out there in either engineering or manufacturing. It, uh, when, when the best thing was said to me last year when the students got into the car, strapped in, took it around the track, and they got out, and the one student said to me, I can't believe this. And I'm like, well, what do you mean? He's like, that car was nothing but a computer model, and now we're driving this. And you could see the, the pride and a lot of parents coming in and other company officials looking at it, and when they would tell them, turn to ask me questions, I'd say, no, there's the team. Go talk to the team that built it. And you could see the little chest getting a little bigger and the smile on their face. So the kids get a big kick out of it. Uh, all the kids will learn that, that how to take a 3D drawing or 3D model and actually make a part from it. Either taking the drawings and creating the part in metal here at school or taking the drawings and being able to make the part in either a water jet, a laser, or a machine, or a CNC machining. Um, we, they have to actually take the part and make it into a format that the machines can make. They also learn basic manufacturing skills, welding, machining, uh, using a lathe, using a, a mill, um, basic hand tools. Another th uh, thing that people don't think about is how does steel come? How do you order steel? How does it, what are the shapes? Uh, bolts, nuts and bolts, uh, drive trains. We learn about gear ratios. We learn about clutches and chain, tires, uh, <laughs> uh, hydraulics. We get in the hydraulics with the brakes. So they learn a lot in a very short time. April 25th, we'll be at the track. Uh, we'll be down at the Briggs, Motor, Motor, Briggs and Stratton Motorplex. Um, we'll probably have about 11 cars down there. We'll have all four of ours done and painted. Uh, it'll be on a Sunday, free admission. We'll see if we can uh, get them around the track. Yeah, we're gonna make sure it works. Who needs a kill switch?